BW in the Q series. Being responsible for this is really a great job to be inside of you. I'm Michael Roth, and I'm very proud to share this workshop today with you. You've been driving the 20R, 20D, and the 30R yesterday and today, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Did you? Because it's a great car with great ride friends. But we offer an even wider engine portfolio starting from the 20i on the petrol side and the AMD on the diesel side, which delivers 110 kilowatts, up to the all new and most powerful M340i we've ever made, which delivers 275 kilowatts and it is a real amazing car. Before we come to the engines, I'd like to give you a short overview on the whole drivetrain of the new series. We have put in a lot of effort to make the drivetrain much lighter. For example, the differential is now 7 kilograms lighter than the predecessor's one. We did it in an aluminium instead of steel. And we have integrated to a real huge at blue tanks to maximize the reach for our customers. And, as Michael Marquette said yesterday already, we have for all engines a twin pipe, a twin pipe exhaust design to underline the sporiness of the car. Let's come to the diesel engine. When we started to develop it, we set up um, lots of ambiguous targets on this engine. We started to increase dynamics and at the same time reduce the fuel consumption. We have reduced the weight of the engine and we optimized the acoustics of the engine. I think you can really experience this in the car. And, and I can tell you this is a really challenging thing, the engine has to meet all the emission targets and the legal requirements. How did we achieve all these targets? It's the first time we have integrated a twin stage turbocharger on the 20D with a big low pressure stage which is equipped with variable turbine geometry and a smaller high pressure stage which is integrated into the manifold and is passed by at higher reefs. So this concept enables for a much better dynamic of the engine. And it is also a key feature to reduce the fuel consumption. As you can see here, the engine field, which describes engine speed and engine torque output, in the two-stage controlled area, we could achieve a reduction in fuel consumption up to 4%, which um, which is real to see in any DC cycle and even in the RDE cycle and the rest of the engine field in the one stage controlled area we could reduce the consumption by up to 1% which is really great. I've talked about the challenging topic emissions. We have to fulfill real driving emissions which means there are various parameters which vary a lot. So we are faced with different attitudes. The customer is able to drive as he wants to, from high dynamics to low dynamics. The temperature vary over the years, so in the winter it's very, very cold, in the summer it's very, very hot from time to time in some regions. Even the load varies, and even the streets on which the car is driven are different. So, in addition to the two-stage turbocharging concept, we have integrated the latest technology of common rail system with 2,500 bars. We have an <coughs> enhanced exhaust gas return system, which is much more efficient. And we have a state-of-the-art exhaust after-treatment system, which you can see here. The gas enters here. It passes the diesel particular filter. Afterwards, it passes the nitrous storage catalyst, 
which stores the nitrous gases until they are burned later on. And third, it passes the semi-catalytic reduction catalyst where the end blue and the gas is mixed and the nitrous gases are reduced semi-catalytically. So the gas is clean when it um, exits the exhaust system. Let's come to the petrol engine. The targets are very, very similar, like fuel consumption, like torque, like legal requirements, but the job is completely different one. So as you can see here, we have integrated a in steel manifold, which reduces the enthalpy losses. We have also enhanced the, the, the fuel pump, uh, the label up to 340 bar, which is key factor for reducing emissions. And they could increase power by 5 kilowatts and torque by even 15 newton meters, which you can, I think, really do. Let's come to the plug in hybrid. The 30E is equipped with the latest battery technology. With this technology, we enable the car to drive up to 60 kilometers fuel electrically. It accelerates to 100 in only six seconds, so it's a real sporty car. And it's able to drive 140 rear uh, pure electricity. We've also integrated an extra boost mode, which delivers 30 kilowatts on top. And it's equipped with a new energy management system, which anticipates your driving and optimizes the energy output from the battery. That's why I'm here at the racetrack, the six of the petrol engine. Also here same targets, a little bit more focused on power output, of course. And we have integrated a new twin power turbo, which is capable of 1010 degrees axis temperature, and we have reduced the inertial masses by 25% which enables the engine to be more responsive and more powerful. We have increased the power by 35 kilowatts and the torque by 50 newton meters and the engine is capable of 7000 RPMs over here. So it's a real, real sporty engine. All these facts and figures sound a little bit dry, but I tell you, the car sounds awesome and it feels really, really nice. Even you will see later. So let's come to the gearbox. We have the third generation of our eight speed gearbox. We have it optimized regarding the shifting times by new shifting hydraulics. And we have put a lot of effort to optimize the gear points and the shifting, the shifting points of the gearbox. We also increased the comfort and the fuel consumption of uh, the component and optimize the drag in all components from ceilings and bearings and all those stuff. So I've been talking about the 30i and the 20d. You could already experience. I give you a short insight on the 30e, the plug-in hybrid. And before you have the chance to drive the M340i extra on the track, Robert Rudmüller will tell you something about vehicle dynamics.